Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. Austin Trucker with you. Sunday morning bonus episode. I got a message from Jerry, owner of George's Garage. I don't know Jerry. And I've made a bunch of videos over here in front of this old white 9000. And he sent me a message. He said, next time you're snooping in my yard. And I kind of hung on the word snooping, like, uh-oh. Next time you're snooping in my yard. I got a couple new toys for you to look at. So here we go. Wow. All right, from the back, looks, this looks like a white 9000. That looks like a Diamond Rio. This is awesome. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. A white 9000 complete. Oh, what a beautiful truck. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. This is where it's at. This thing's got covers over the uh, headlights. I wonder where this one came from. Looks like it was red at one time. Could have been an old Ferrara food truck maybe. This is a hook to pull on other trucks, so you can pull that truck with this truck. All right, let's open up the doors and see. A little bit of fuel in there. Wow. Oh, you guys have no idea how much I love seeing this. I think it even had a radio in it at one point. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out what year it is. How do you do that? <laughs> it's 9500 TB. up and take a peek oh, what a beautiful truck see this one is authentic to the one I rode in as a kid because there was no passenger seat I, I sat on a hood milk crate I know you've guys heard me say a few times it's got an old realistic radio homemade in there pretty cool you know see these old trucks they got these big steering wheels no power steering the old saying is steering by Armstrong. Armstrong. Muscles. You had to be a real man to drive a truck like this. But you didn't know any different back then. You didn't know about power steering and air ride. You know? You didn't know about that. So you know about air conditioning and trucks. You want to roll down your window, it's a window crank. Glove compartment's clean. Clean and empty. This is fantastic. I get to sit in here and play all day. Wow. Awesome. Let's go look at the outside some more. It's got spring ride. It's got good tires on it. The old hub. Stopped at uh, 20,000. Hub wheels. What a beautiful truck. I love this. Got the airlines hanging on the back. See these mirrors? That was no heated mirrors. You want to heat the mirrors, you, you got your paper towel and you wipe wiped off the ice and the fog. Team says local 829. Pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know who owned this one. Let's walk around the other side. Maybe the other door is a little clearer. Like I said, I, my guess is James Ferrara and Sons. If, it, if this truck came from around here. I don't know where this, this truck came from. You know, back in the day, see how it's, it's got a... The exhaust came out of the bottom. You know, there was nothing better when I was a kid 
camping in the old truck yards with all the trucks starting in the morning, all the air ride starters, like where, 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 like all of them. And the yard would just fill up full of smoke and diesel fumes and oh, I could still smell it. Even when I was a teenager and I used to skip school in my 79 Mercury Cougar XR7, I used to go over to the Avon Industrial Park. I would sit over there at Reebok, which looked over the Holmes Transportation Terminal. I would just watch all the trucks, all the Max, U-Model Max, starting up. And the whole, the whole area was just, was just fumes and pollution. Nothing better. Let's bring back those days of pollution. Oh, I can see. Oh, that's right. James Ferrara and Sons, Inc. 135 Will Drive, Canton, Massachusetts. Look at that DOT number. It's one of the early ones. I was right, James Ferrara and Sons. I got a pretty good knowledge of the trucking in New England history from back in the day. I mean, yeah, that's awesome. So on the passenger side, I would lift myself up these little things. And then dad open the door and sometimes when I was going down the road and I'm sitting on my milk crate This door would swing open and dad would just reach across and close it like no big deal It's pretty awesome Now right here we got a we got a diamond Rio with an air conditioner on top Looks like a Kaiser Kaiser air conditioner Got beautiful tires on this Look how big that fifth wheel is. That's really big. Fontaine, no slack. Oh, you pull the pin on this side. Interesting. Didn't know the same on that one over there. Say on the door. Service Center Inc. Braintree, Massachusetts, leased by South Mill Trust. Okay. Down here, Truck Center, Diamond Rio Truck Center, 807 Massachusetts Avenue, Boston, Massachusetts. That's where this truck came from. It's got a FAR, F A R R, air cleaner on it. Right? Is that a FAR? Oh, yeah far there this one's got a radio antenna on it I love the grills on these diamond Rios like the trucks are almost twins okay right up on the top it says Millard so that's who must have owned it I'm not familiar with Millard but it's got a Kaiser air conditioner it's got a big air horn on top it's got five nice lights right across the top see the difference between those lights and those lights Look at that grill, you could polish that thing right out. Beautiful, double headlights, big fat fenders. This thing's a beast. Let's start them up, come on. It's got a Jake brake sticker on it. Truck number D140. Let's go take a look at this one. I used to have uh, the old fuel stickers here. They've been ripped off. DOT number 018032. That's that's even earlier than this one. That one's 42691, 18032. Whoa. So this one, I believe, is a 71. I think this is a 71, Diamond Rio. Diamond Rio truck doing Lansing, Michigan, White Motor Corporation. This one had an air ride seat. This must have been a later install, definitely. This seat doesn't even look that old. Let's climb up and take a look. Right. Look at this. Air start. It's got 359,000 miles on it. 10 speed Road Ranger. Wow. Look at this stuff. 
And you got the heater. These are for lights. Interesting, I've never seen that before. It's the air conditioning unit. Mark IV Super Fleet, it says on it. Wow, this is a fancy truck from back in the day. There's the gear shift. It's got some speakers in here. So where's the radio? There must have been a radio in here. Might have been an old box setup, right? There. No, I don't know what that is. Wow, that's pretty cool. What's that right there? What's that say? Hard. I can't read the hazards. Oh yeah, obviously the hazards are red. Diamond Rio, big steel steering wheel. This is a nice truck. This is really nice. Wow. Gear horn. Meow, meow. Super cool. Wow, what a great find. Wonder if Jerry has any plans with these trucks. Wow, that's awesome. All right. An old Kenworth T300 right there. There's the cover shot right there. All right. Fantastic. What a find. Made my Sunday morning. Made my week. I plan on uh, coming back and doing an interview with Jerry, learning about George's garage. Speechless. That never happens. I just love this. This is just so cool. The old white 9000 brings back a lot of memories. You know, you had to be tough to drive a truck like this. I mean, you know, you didn't know any difference. You didn't know about AM, FM, Air Ride. <laughs> you know, they were pulling 40 foot boxes with these things. 45 was probably long back then. All kinds of weather. There's no whining back then either. You just drove them. That's, that's what that was the job. Real deal. I can hear it now. I can hear this truck right now in my head. I wish you could too. Maybe you can. Look at the chalk block. It's an old rusted chalk block. We're all rusted in there. Some might see old junk. I see. I see beauty. I see. White mirror on there. See? White. Truck number 65. James Ferrara and Sons. Over in Canton. They had a big warehouse, big food warehouse. I used to go there with my dad. And I used to deliver there too when I worked for Bud Meyer Truck Lines. I used to haul food into there off the, I think off of the West Coast. I think I used to take produce in there. They did take produce in there out of Salinas. Salinas. And Gilroy. El Centro. All those places. Love it. Old trucks is where it's at. All right. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Go back watch some of my old videos. I got a lot of old school stuff on here. That's what I'm about. Whoa, I didn't even notice the stack on there with the rain cap. This is why you gotta watch the videos to the end. Wow, that's awesome. This truck is badass. I know you can't say ass on the CB, but you can say it on YouTube, can't you? That's pretty cool. Imagine that thing rapping. Ba -ba 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 All right, brought to you by, this video is brought to you by the Boston Trucker and George's Garage. Give George's Garage a call for all your heavy haul and wrecking and towing needs. Thanks, George's. Thanks, Jerry. We'll be back. Peace and grace.